What's up guys, I want to show you how to create a dynamic route and react router. Now what I mean by that is creating a route, these are what I would call static routes. Um, they just match to like login and that's it, right? Um, and what I mean by a dynamic route is something like this. So if I did like book, and then there's a variable in the route. So for example, the ID. So, or maybe something else like a word, maybe this is, um, Oops, this is the title of the book, or you know, there's something here that uh, makes it dynamic, right? And we render it differently depending on what the value is. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. And to the back end I'm gonna use for this, this is the code I'm using is uh, one of the projects I have created called Jello World Starter Kit. The starter code is in the link in the description below for this. And I'm also gonna be using um, the backend attached to this is a GraphQL server. Um, but this, the React Router's part will work whether you're using a REST API or a GraphQL server. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna render a book component, which we need to create. So import book from dot slash book. So we're gonna create this. And what we're gonna do here is fetch different books depending on what the ID variable we get here. So I'm just going to show you, I have in graphical right here, this is the GraphQL that we're going to run. So we're going to call get book, um, and we pass it whatever ID we get from the URL, and then we get that data, and that's what we render on the screen. Okay, so can't find module, we're going to go ahead and create our new route called book. So book.js, oops, not ks.js. Alright, so here we're just going to import react from react and at first let's just render static stuff so we're just going to say hi uh, h1 so any route that matches we should see hi so i'm going to say book and i'm just going to put in some garbage right react router doesn't know what an id is so we know that we need an integer for our id so like that is a valid id but like this is not right so what we'd like to do is actually throw a 404 first off if they give us an invalid ID. And now, how do we know though? How do we get this value, right, in our component? Well, React Router actually passes it to our props. So let's come here, I can show you guys. Um, it comes here, I believe it's, here's our component right here. In match, um, we can get the params and then the ID value. And that'll give us whatever we type here. So we do one, I was hoping it wasn't going to redo it, but it did. The param would be uh, this value. So we can say uh, match. We want to get the params, and we want to get the ID. So let's just show the ID here. And bam. So now if I change this here, we get a different value here. So now. If it's, the ID is not an integer, then we would like to um, throw a 404 message, basically. So let's create in our routes over here, just a new path. This is called 404. And then we're just gonna render a component called page not found. So oops, I'm just gonna use a component equal to page not found and I'm just going to create a very basic page for this that just says page not found so page not found create a new route here called page not found dot js so here we're going to just import react from react and all we're going to say is we, we can't find the page, right, that they're trying to request. Uh, so h1 page not found. So in our book here, we're going to say, we're going to try, oops, and then we're going to catch. Actually, no, we don't even need to catch. I think parse int. So what I was going to say is we're going to do parse int on id. We're gonna say const id is equal to this. If not id, then we're just gonna return 
and we're gonna do a redirect tag here. So copy this from React Router DOM. And we want this redirect. And we here's an example of redirect that we're using here. So I'm just gonna copy that. Um, and we're just specifying the path name, so 404. So here we still need to return stuff. Here we're just we'll just go ahead and still return the ID if it's valid. And looks like we have a small error. Uh, okay. So this looks good. So we're gonna try to parse the ID. If it's an integer, um, we should get a valid integer back. The only thing is if the ID is zero, that could mess us up. So let's say ID not equal to zero and not ID. The reason for this is zero evaluates the false. So if we did this, we get redirected, I think. So we're checking if it's not equal to zero and the ID does like it's not, it's null or it's undefined when we're trying to parse it, then we redirect to this 404. So save that. Um, cannot find page not found. So page not, oh, we spelled it wrong. Um, duplicate declaration of ID. Oh, so this will be a good ID. We'll say good ID. Okay. So for example, this, all right, cool. Takes us to 404 not found. But now if I go to book slash two, um, takes us here and let's do that edge case I was talking about zero. Still shows zero here. Perfect. So if there's anything else you know your ID can't be, then you could redirect here. Um, the next thing to do is actually do a fetch, right? So we have the ID, we wanna fetch some data from our API. So for us, we wanna call this GraphQL get book. So let's do that. So I'm going to import GraphQL and GQL from React. Apollo, so we can do some GraphQL things. So here's going to be our book component, const book, and we're going to export default. We're going to call GraphQL on it. So I'm going to say const book query. This is where we're going to put our GraphQL that we're going to call. Um, so we're going to attach our book query to our book component. And then here, we're gonna do our query. So the query I said we were gonna run is this guy right here. And we actually want to have a variable, right? Because the ID is gonna change. So ID, it's gonna be dollar sign ID, it's just an int. And we have to get an int here. So dollar sign ID. I could fetch more uh, fields from get book, but I'm just gonna keep it simple by just getting the title. So I'm gonna get the query here. And now, something about a GraphQL is, you'll notice, okay, so we have the ID here, and we need to pass this in as a variable. Well, we only know what the ID is by this prop that we're getting here. We're actually not, um, you know, there's, we, we can't, we're not calling the query here. The query gets called automatically for us from React Apollo. So we need to somehow tell React Apollo that we want to use this uh, ID that we're getting right here. And the way we do this is by, actually the second parameter here can be a function. So we can say props, and the function, it actually pass props to it. So we can actually have access to these things. And we can return an object back. And the object here is gonna be our options. And one of the options is variables, and here is where we pass in the ID. So we're gonna say ID is equal to props.match.params.id. Um, and we're gonna squiggly error, expression expected. I think it's fine. We'll see if we get an error over here. Uh, the operation data wrapping block is expecting ID, but was not found in props, passed to Apollo. Okay, so I did this totally wrong then. Um, let's go look it up. Apollo data. I thought for I thought it was props, and then just pass in the variable here. 
Um, but I guess it's slightly different. And for us, what I'm also thinking is, you know how we're redirecting and the right here? I'm wondering if this GraphQL query is getting called first. So it might, we might actually just get a GraphQL error if the ID is bad. So, all right, so query, where is queries? Here we go. So we want to do, this is what we want to do. Okay, so this is what I did wrong. So we need to do options. It shouldn't, it's not a function here. I thought it was just a function here. We need to say options is equal to a function. There we go. That looks better. So the second parameter is a object with the options here passing the props. And all right, this looks better. Um, missing rate uh, radex, that's fine. We should be doing a triple equals though. Um, it wants us to just put a 10 here. So that should get rid of those two warnings. All right. So I think we're getting the data now. Let's see what happens when we put a bad one. Okay, page not found and we get a bad request because we're still doing the request. Okay, so I wonder if there's a way to tell GraphQL not to do the request if we get a bad one. But we'll do that, wait to that at the end because I actually don't know how to do that. We're gonna have to look in the docs for that. I'll just finish the rest of this. So if they give us a good idea, we wanna now render this on the screen, but that's easy from this point because all we're doing is getting the ID, right? Or the data that it passes in. Now, I'm not gonna put this redirect logic here because I think we're gonna have to put it down here. But if you're using a, REST, a regular REST API, you would do this stuff here and do your book query and the component will mount. All right, so let's get rid of this since um, for us, we, uh, we actually don't even need to get the ID here, right? It's just data that we're getting from the query. So data, and there should be something called uh, book query. So book query, and then we should also get, okay, before I do this, let's actually look. Um, yeah. Let's look in the props. So refresh that, did I crash it? Yeah, I did. ID is not defined. Uh, so comment this out, comment this out. I'm gonna just look in the props and see what the keys that we need to grab are. So in React, this is called book. So data, so all right, we need to check the loading and the git book. So data, loading, comma, git book. And we return null from git book, as you'll notice. So like if the ID is too big, like if the book doesn't exist, like bam or return null so we need to check that too and redirect so that's the read type of redirect we'll do here so we'll check say um, if loading if we're not loading and get book is null then we're going to redirect to 404 otherwise we can go ahead and render our data so just for this what I want to do is just say in here, if we're loading, so so if loading, and then we'll say we don't. We actually don't have to do else ifs. So we can just do ifs. We can say return h1 loading. All right. So if we're loading, we'll just put print this out. If we're not loading, I think we need to wrap this with the. Why is this all red now? Okay, I did something. Oh, I forgot to close the tag and so it messed up everything. So if it's loading, we'll say loading. Next, we'll check if book is null, we'll redirect. If it's not null, then we'll go ahead and just do an h1 and say get book dot title and show the title of the book. Now, for your guys' code, you can go ahead and put any data you want here that you're you want to show for the book or for whatever data you're getting. Okay, so let's see this. So just another book. If we do one, we see loading and then the most boring book ever. So all right, so now we're dynamically loading the titles of these books. So like three, um, 
um, I am a book. And now if I do like a really big number, I don't have, and we get page not found. Cool. So our code's working. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show for this video. I'm going to try to now do some extra content for you guys and see if we can figure out um, how do we redirect, you know, enter props here. I want to check whether the variable is, if the ID here is an integer. And if it is an integer, go ahead and do the GraphQL. But if it's not, like if the user puts up here like this junk, I don't even want to do a GraphQL query. Right now we are, right? And we get an error. So I believe there's a way to do this. Uh, I've seen it in here somewhere. I feel like it might be called, um, can't, I actually can't remember what it's called. Oh, skipping an operation. There we go. So, okay. Oh, this is super easy. So we want, we want to skip if uh, there's a pro. If, okay, so this is skip. It looks like we put right here. And so props, we're going to say um, skip is equal to true if not parse int props.match.params.id. Um, not sure why that's red. I think that's just the thing. So, all right, let's try this. Let's see now if we do the GraphQL query. All right, so now we skip the query. And, all right, nothing's going to get loaded, though, right? So how do we tell if, if it's getting, if skipped is true, we want to know it's true in our component here and then redirect. So I guess we can keep what we had before with doing the props.match thing. So we can say uh, match params and then ID. And then right here, I'm just going to say if, so not parsent uh, ID, then we're just going to go ahead and redirect. All right. I think that should wrap it up now. So now this should redirect to 404 uh, if it worked and it didn't. Oh, and the reason for that is because we didn't go to book. So book slash garbage and can't read property loading if undefined. Oh, so data is undefined. Okay, so it looks like if we skip, the data is undefined. So we don't even need to do this. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to wait and say const loading and get book is equal to data. And here we're just going to grab the data. And then here we're going to check if data exists. All right. And this should be a comma. Okay, so if skip is true, it looks like data is null. So we can tell if we skipped. And if we skipped, we know we didn't get a good ID, so we should redirect. So if not data. So, all right. Oh, cool. So we actually get redirected correctly. So but if I go to books one, we should still render most boring book ever, and two, just another book. Bam, works. All right, that's pretty cool, guys. So we we're able to dynamically show you know, the title of the books, depending on what the route is, and we can redirect to 404s if we get bad data or bad, you know, the user puts in crap. We can check it with skip using GraphQL, so we don't have to actually run the uh, query that's super nice um, and waste you know a server call so that's it for this guys code's going to be up on github thanks for watching